Welcome to new TechView Vlog and this time around it's all about the Photoshop camera. A nice camera application that Adobe released that could be yeah, a good alternative for the Google camera mod that usually you have to wait a few weeks or you have to rely on third parties to mod this for your device. But the Photoshop camera app runs on every device like my Xperia 10 Mark II that I'm recording this right now here or the Huawei phones or other phones that have a 64-bit processor. I had to download this Photoshop camera app via APK, APK Miro because it was not available in the Play Store for my Xperia 10 Mark II but I'm pretty sure it will come in a few weeks for this device as well. It works pretty fine and pretty well on this device so let me show you how this works. So let's get into the application which is called uh, Photoshop camera. We'll go into camera mode and uh, here you can see it is trying to film me um, go into camera mode and I have the option to take a snap of myself. Let's see how this will work out. And uh, so I have the option to just uh, yeah, normally use the camera as I would want to but there's also a nice little button here if I press on this uh, I have various different lenses and one of those lenses here I can use is the portrait lens and if I choose this I get a nice portrait effect with a bokeh and this works pretty good as you can see and it is a bit slow of my, on my Xperia 10 Mark II but it works pretty fine when you do it in post edit because you also have the option to see your photo here and then you can see here my portrait uh, photo that i edited but i also have the option to just go to another photo and say i want to change lenses i can just go into lenses here and you can see it uh, also optimized auto optimized the photo with a uh, nice uh, a background effect with the effect of HDR and I have also the option to just simply say okay this is a portrait I want to change the portrait in this I go to portrait and have various different portrait options that I can choose from there so let me go to this for example I can also go to this portrait effect or this portrait effect you can see it is slightly changing the effect and the colors of this portrait and this is I think a pretty good feature of this device and it doesn't only work for the portrait effect I can also go to the pop art effect it takes a while to load but you can see it works as well as you can see here some pop art effect or spectrum effect and it will go to spectrum effect and I have various different other effects here of course some that are more for sceneries or blue skies but what's also pretty good is I can go to my normal photos here you can see I worked a bit with, with some of the photos I have some photos also snapped with a normal Sony camera application and if I go to one photo for example Let's go to this photo which is pretty dark and dull by default but you can see it changes it. So this is this little uh, magic wand in the top. See you, here you can see the photo without the magic wand and let me press the magic wand and you can see how it changes the whole photo to be much brighter and also HDR effects. So it basically boosts the colors, it boosts everything that is necessary for boosting stuff so this is the normal photo let's let's go maybe in one-handed mode so I can show you this better and uh, this is the effect that you can get so much brighter view much better to see so a very handy application for mid-range devices like the Xperia 10 Mark II where the camera application itself has no really good editing functions or auto HDR functions and if you want to post edit stuff that you've took with your camera you can do this or you can also use the Photoshop camera to directly take photos so I only am able to use the standard uh, camera the one in the middle here so I'm not using I'm not able to use the ultra wide or the uh, tele zoom 
lens here so keep that in mind so i would recommend you using the normal sony standard default app and then just simply load those images here the images that you want to improve and see what the auto improve of photoshop camera can do for you that's basically everything for this little uh, vlog i hope you I hope you enjoyed this and uh, thanks for watching like and subscribe and uh, until the next time bye